Nagbabalik tayo sa Kababayan Today at kasama naman natin ang 60s matinee idol na tatay ni Cher Calvin. Walang iba kundi si Roger Calvin. <laughs> Hi, Tito Roger. Thank you. I'm Thank so happy you. to see you here back. To LA. Aw, thank you, Tita Roger. I'm so happy that I finally get to interview the two of you. We always see each other in, you know, yeah, events right. around town and mm. in Vera's house, mm. our common friend. The last time we were together, you were having my adobo. Yes! <laughs> so, Tita Roger, you came here to LA for a very, very special yes. occasion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How yeah, does yeah. it feel that your daughter. Oh, it feels great. You know, I was just like, you know, telling her, you know, that, you know, on that evening that uh -huh. we were to the Emmy, uh -oh. right, you know, I felt Hollywood under my feet. Oh, that's which wonderful. It's great, you know, and then at the same time, it feels like, you know, this like Hollywood in the 30s or in the 40s, yeah. the way it was set up. Yeah. It was great, and I had a wonderful time, and the food, oh, excellent, I'm sure. you know, and the people. Oh, oh. So, you know. so talk to us about Cher as a child. How was she as a child, and how did you raise her to be very Filipino? Born and raised, educated in New York. Yes, right. NYU, no less. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good so, school. so, ano yung ginawa nyo um, bilang tatay para uh, mapalapit siya sa Filipino culture? Well, I guess it's probably because you know that at the time, right? You know, most of the people that we are surrounded with, you know, even though that we are in New York City, mga Pilipino rin, mm. no, mga kaibigan ko, kaibigan ng misses ko, mm -mm. ganyan, no? And we have attended a lot of Filipino events also in New York City. And at home, siyempre, you know, like, you know, even though that we spoke to her in English, automatically, you know, miski na baligtad ang English mo, you have to talk to her in English. <laughs> so, <laughs> me and my wife, you know, we discuss everything in Tagalog uh -oh. in front of her. Kaya naiintindihan niya ang Tagalog. Uh -oh. Well, because you're talking well. about me sometimes, yeah. right? <laughs> I'm sure that some of the Phil Ams understand right. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you always tell her, you know, about, you know, her what roots you, and yeah, the rules and taga regulations. Saan, taga saan po ba kayo sa Pilipinas? Sa Pampanga ako. Pampanga. And yeah. your mom shares she's from, from... She's from Bulacan, from Malolos. Bulacan. Yes. Malolos. And we know that your wife and your mom passed away due mm -hmm. to cancer mm -hmm. right. quite That's recently. Right. like almost 20 years ago. Oh, quite, oh yeah. has it yeah. been end of yeah. years? End of August, it'll be 20 years. Wow. It's, another, it's a lifetime ago, but wow. it feels like yesterday, no? Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. it stays there, you know. And uh, of no course, she was what, a yeah. doctor too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So how yeah. was that growing up um, with your mom and your dad in New York City, a doctor? I, I see that you've traveled around everywhere. You know, you're a, you're a global Filipina. Uh, well, you know, I think that I'm very lucky to have parents that wanted to travel all the time. Yes. <laughs> yeah. And a birthday that was smack in the middle of summer. Oh, nice. So that was the excuse. Oh, we're going to take you wherever for your birthday. And yeah. so we would go abroad, um, usually to Europe for my birthday. It's a lot easier to go to Europe from New York yeah, than it yeah. is from here. Um, so it was nice, you know. I mean, plus I'm an only child. So when you're an only child, it's a little easier to travel. As you know, you've got two. Yes. Uh, it's a little easier to travel with one than it is for two. And yes. so that's what um, right. we did. You yeah, know? Yeah, but it was yeah, great yeah. for me because I think that what, um, what it, it always, everything is full circle. And that part of my life also it plays part in my life today because especially professionally with exactly. your Emmy right now because of the work that you've done for the community. Correct. Yeah? Correct. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Tita Roger, when did you know as a little girl that Cher was going to be a star? Wow. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good question. <laughs> right? It actually, you know, it it didn't get into my head, you know, until like, you know, probably, you know, the last ten years, right, you know, when she realized that she wanted to be, you know, this is what she wants to do, you know, to be on TV. I said, do you want to be an actress? And I said, maybe not, you know. 20 but, years now, I thought She's too smart to be an actress. She's too smart. Just kidding. So, anyway. Sana ten lang. Salamat po. Well, at the time, because her mother, you know, was a doctor, yes. right, you know, and her grandfather, you know, is a doctor, right, right you know. 
you know, what we have in mind for her is to become also a, a, doctor. a doctor. That's mm -hmm. right. right. You know, there's a lot of pressure yeah, we when you come her, you know, from to, a family like that. Especially me, I wanted her to become a doctor. Uh oh, you know? I think it's also a cultural thing. You mm -hmm. have to agree that a lot of Filipino Americans want their children to be a doctor, an engineer. So when lawyer. a doctor or a lawyer, yeah. so when a daughter chooses to go into journalism or media or the arts, yeah. of course there's hesitancy yeah. on the part of the parent, hindi po ba? Yeah. Well, at the time, at, at, you know, not only that, you know, at the time, you know, journalism, you know, like on, to be on TV, women, right, you know, it seems like, you know, it, it is more acceptable for matured women to do right, it, right. you know, than to be a young person, you know, like in your, let's say you're 20, 21, 22, right? Mm -hmm. And they would never put you on camera. Yes, well, times you know? have changed. Yeah. And look, she anchors the news, I've got this show. So Filipino women are making their mark, not only here in America, yes. but all over the world. That's High five, true. sister. Yes, that's right. That's <laughs> I like that. Yeah. All right, so when we come back, we'll talk more with Tita Roger and Cher and get a little bit personal. Right here on Kapabayan Today.